If you've been struggling to lose weight for a while, or perhaps this is the first time you're trying to lose weight, then this is the video for you. Now in this video, I'm gonna help you calculate how many calories you need to eat each day in order to lose weight in a healthy, sustainable way. But before we calculate how many calories you're gonna be consuming, let's quickly talk about a calorie deficit and why that's important to you. So a calorie deficit is the mechanism by which we lose weight. And if you're not losing weight, it means you're probably not in a calorie deficit. So a calorie deficit is where we consume fewer calories than we expend in a given day. And by consistently consuming fewer calories, we create an energy deficit, so we start to lose weight. Now, this is a slow and gradual process. It can be sped up by reducing the amount of calories you consume, and it can also be sped up by performing more exercise or being more active in our day-to-day -day lives. So in order to create a calorie deficit, first of all, we have to know how many calories we're consuming in a given day. Now, what we want to do is we want to calculate something called your BMR or your basal metabolic rate. And this is the number of calories that your body requires to perform day-to-day -day functions. Once we've got your BMR, we can then calculate your TDEE or your total daily energy expenditure. And we get this by taking your BMR and timesing it by an activity multiplier. So where can you find a BMR or TDEE calculator? Well, the good news is that these are easily available on the internet. So you can go to www.google.com and search BMR calculator, or you can go to the Fitness of Albert website, www.fitnessofalbert.com. And if you see here, if we scroll down on the homepage, we get to the free calorie calculator. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we use this. So as you can see here, we've got the BMR basal metabolic rate calculator, and there's a brief description here of how we're going to use it. So what we do is we take one of the formula, and it actually doesn't matter too much which one of these formulas you use. Um, they're going to be approximately the same. And then once we've got that base number, we can then play around with it later. So we've selected our formula. We're going to put in our gender, age. So I'm 31 years old, height, six foot one on a good day, maybe just a little bit under. And we've got weight. So you can change these as well. So you can have them in kilograms, pounds, whatever measurement unit you use, you can put it on here. So we've entered that in, and as you can see here, my BMR is 1,920 calories a day. Let me just quickly change this. So if I change it to 170 pounds, let's say I was lighter, then my BMR would be 1,845 calories. So the next step from this is to add your activity multiplier. So this is going to depend on your job and also how often you're exercising. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to show additional information. We're gonna go down to total daily energy expenditure, and then we're gonna select our level of exercise. So if we've got a sedentary job, so we don't do any exercise, perhaps with something like a teacher or we have a desk job, then your total daily energy expenditure is going to be 2,290. But obviously the more active you are, the more calories you're going to be able to consume or you're going to be expending in any given day. For me as a personal trainer, and also I train quite regularly, I'm gonna go for physical job or hard exercise. So six to seven workouts a week. So as you can see here, the amount of calories that I burn each day or I need to consume to stay the same weight is going to be 3,626. And now that we've got that number, how can we create our deficit? So to have a healthy rate of weight loss, what we want to do is take that number and we want to reduce it by 10 to 20%. This should be enough that you put yourself into a deficit that's going to give you a decent rate of weight loss but not so much that you're going to be absolutely starving and feeling hungry all the time. So in my case, we're gonna take 3,628. We're going to divide it by 1.1 up to 1.2, depending on how aggressive you want to put yourself in a deficit, which will leave me with around 3,000 to 3,300 calories per day that I can eat. What I would then do is I would weigh out all of my food. I would track it on apps like MyFitnessPal or NutriCheck. And then hopefully over the course of a month or two months, I would see that the scales would start to go down and I'd be losing some weight. After a couple of months, if you find that you've stayed the same way or perhaps you've even gone up weight, this can mean one of two things. So the first thing is that you've been underestimating the amount of calories you've been eating or you are overestimating the amount of exercise you do day to day. So what I would do is if you find that you've not lost any weight or if you're not happy with the rate of weight loss is I reduce these calories again by sort of 10 to 15%. And then hopefully over the next month, you'll find that the weight starts going in the right direction. Now, let's say you were trying to put on weight. Now, what you would do is you would take your TDEE number. So for me, 3,620 and you would times it by five to 10%. So you don't wanna go as aggressive on increasing the weight as you do on the decreasing of weight because you'll tend to put on an excess of fat mass relative to the amount of muscle mass that you have. 
It's also important to remember that as we lose weight, what we want to do is we want to incorporate resistance training and also increase the amount of protein that we're having in our diet. And this means that we're going to maintain as much muscle mass or even build muscle mass as we decrease the overall amount of mass that our body has. And what's a realistic rate of weight loss? Now, for most people, we can expect to lose between 0.5 to 1% of our body weight. So for me, 180 pounds, give or take, this means I should lose between 0.9 to 1.8 pounds when I put myself in a relatively aggressive deficit. You can lose weight quicker than this, but it's going to be a lot harder for you to maintain. It's going to be a much more intense process where you're going to be in a bigger deficit. You might find that you have more hunger cravings, or you're going to have to be doing a lot more exercise in order to get that daily expenditure up there to maintain that level of deficit. And a final thing to think about is that as you lose weight, you're going to decrease the amount of energy you burn each day. So someone who weighs 200 pounds is going to be burning more calories than someone of the same size and activity, age, height, etc., than someone who weighs 150 pounds. And that is all you need to know when it comes to putting yourself in a calorie deficit and losing weight. So what you want to do is you want to find yourself a BMR calculator or a TDEE calculator. You're going to type in your details. You're then going to reduce this number by 10 to 20 percent if you're trying to lose weight or increase it by 5 to 10 percent if you're trying to put on weight and bulk. We want to be doing resistance training, preferably two, three times a week at least, and having a high protein diet as we're in that calorie deficit. Remember to review. So every couple of months, what I would do is, is I would re-evaluate how many calories you're burning each day especially if you find that your weight loss has got stuck or you've plateaued. If you find that you're hungry all the time, you're feeling tired, lethargic, you're probably in too much of a calorie deficit because you need to remember your body needs a certain amount of nutrients, a certain amount of energy in order to perform its day-to-day -day functions. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a like and a subscribe. I'm going to be putting out plenty more fitness-based content for you. And if you've got any other questions at all regarding fitness and health, leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to get a video on it. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.